F123 has been out for a while now, and if, like me, you find the livery customization limited and the intrusion of the overpriced Bitcoin store insulting, this is the video for you. Over the next 10 minutes, I will show you how you can create a completely custom livery for your F123 My Team career. Okay, so let's get started with the tutorial. And first things first, we're going to need to cover the software required. To create our texture files, we will require some image editing software. I will be using GIMP, but in theory, you can use anything as long as it allows you to export images as a .tiff. Secondly, we will need to compress these images into .dds files. This is where most other tutorials will require Photoshop. We, however, will be using a free tool called AMD Compressinator. Finally, we need to open up the package files of the game and slot in our creations. To do this, we will use the Ego ERP Archiver created by Peter Tasev. He has provided this tool at a name your price, so if you think it's worth it, chuck him a couple of dollars. Links to all of these tools can be found in the description below, along with a link to a Google Drive folder with all of the GIMP projects I will be using in this tutorial. So I'd recommend pause the video right now, grab the software and the files, and then we will commence with the rest of the tutorial. First up, let's hop into GIMP and let's open the project file that we downloaded from the Google Drive. Once you've opened up the project, you can see that it has three layers. The first is the decal layer. This is where we will paint the design onto the 3D model. The second is the material layer. We will leave this blank so it doesn't interfere with our decal layer. Third is the surface layer. Here we can set the finish of the paint by adjusting the RGB values. The green channel sets the roughness level, the blue channel, the metallic level, and the red channel, the satin level. For the purpose of this tutorial, we'll be mainly concentrating on the technical process of creating the livery and won't be going into too much detail on how to design the livery. But I imagine you can already make out which parts some of these shapes relate to, with the front wing elements being here, the end of the nose here, upper nose over here, with the halo elements split across here and here, the rear wing up in this top left corner, and the side pod and the engine cover over here. Then new for 2023, we also have the wheel cover design included in the main livery. Um, this means that you can have different wheel covers for each of your cars in F123, if that's something you want to play around with. If you've created liveries in the previous game, you will notice the template structure has changed slightly from the one used in F122, mostly around the side pods. Because of this, if you have existing liveries, you will need to modify them to get them to work in the new game. In order to get our images into the correct format, we need to export them as TIFF files. To do that, we will go to File, and then Export As. And then in the name box, we will put in our name d.tif, then hit Export. In the dialog box that comes up, we're going to make sure that we have export as big TIFF file format and save layers deselected. And then we want to make sure that we have save color profile selected. Once that's confirmed, we can hit the export button. And then we repeat that process for the remaining two layers. First of all, we want to import all the images we created in GIMP. So we're going to click here where it says double click here to add files. Select all three of the files we created and hit open. Now against each of these, we're going to expand this and then hit add destination settings. Thankfully, the defaults here are exactly what we're looking for, where it's exporting as a DDS and using the BC7 format. So what you're going to want to do is just make sure that you're familiar with where it's saving to. For us, it's where the image is saved to plus results. So that would be in the results folder alongside those images. And then we hit save for that. And we'll repeat that for the other two images as well. And once that's all set up, just highlight all of your images and hit process three selected images. Once that's complete, we can now package those up into our game. Now we're going to insert our images into the game using the Ego ERP Archiver. 
First thing we're going to do is tell the application where our game is installed. To do that, we go to settings and then game directory, and we'll hit set directory. From here, you need to navigate to the root directory of where your game is installed. For me, I'm in Steam, so that is Steam, Steam Apps Common F123. Once you're in that folder, we're going to hit select folder. Now that's set, we'll start by adding our livery to the game packages. To do this, we'll first need to open the ERP package that contains the My Team liveries. To get that, we'll need to go through 2023 asset groups. And then from here, we will go to F123 vehicle package, then teams. And then from here, we will open common underscore FOM dot ERP. To get our livery into the game, we're going to need to replace three textures. Those are livery common 0D, M and S. Replace them, we'll select them, and then we're going to go up here to textures and then click import. From there we need to find the corresponding DDS file that we created. Select it and hit open. Then when it comes up and says select the maps, save location and file name, we're just going to hit save again. And then we're just going to hit yes. Repeat that process for the other two files. Now that we've imported all the textures, we need to save the package file. Let's go up here to file and save. Keep the same file name, hit save. Hit yes for confirmation. And we've replaced our original file. And now we can check to see how this looks in the game. So with all our textures now added to the package files, we're ready to open up F123 and see how our creation looks within the game. Let's head over to the corporate tab and head to customization. Now the livery we've created and imported has replaced the default Genesis livery. So this may already be selected for you when you enter into your My Team career. If not, very easy to get that selected. Come over here and see your design. If we head out, we can also go to sponsor decals and we can add any of the decals that we have available to us to this cart so it's completely customizable within the game as well and there you have it now you're ready to create your own custom livery in f123 all that remains for me to say is thank you very much for watching if you've enjoyed this video please do consider liking and subscribing and even clicking on another one of the videos that appears on your screen right now and regardless have a very lovely day